In the last video, we wrote a task to find the player location. This is going to be used to get the NPC to chase the player. However, we need to set up a sight perception system so the NPC can see the player character. And this has two parts to it. The sight perception system is on the AI controller for the NPC. And we then need to register a stimulus source on the player character. So the first thing I am going to do is set up the sight perception on the NPC's controller. So you need a, a NPC AI controller .h open. So this is a configuration that is used to set up the site perception system. I also need a function to set up the perception system. And we need a function which is called when the player is sensed, when a player is seen. And we have to mark that as a U function because it's going to be attached to a delegate. So we need to implement these functions. I've got a feeling there is a header missing. Okay, in the constructor, I'm going to call setup perception system. And for that, I'm going to paste the code in and explain afterwards to save time. And it's complaining about these. I don't have the headers for them. So you need to include perception AI sense config underscore site H. It's also this one. I'll show you what the headers are. So we need these two here, these two headers. We begin by creating a site perception system. And if that succeeded, i.e. we ended up with site config not being null, we then create a perception component. We create default sub objects and set that as the current perception component in the system by calling set perception component. The site config object is just used to configure the perception component. We then set the site radius to 500. If the player is within this radius, then he or she will be seen. The lose site radius value is the radius at which the NPC will stop seeing the player. And I set that to a little bit more than the site radius. The peripheral vision angle degrees value is the field of view and is set to 90. So the NPC can only see in front. 360 would of course give all round vision. The set max age value is set to five seconds and is the time after which the perceived stimulus is forgotten. Auto success range from last seen location allows an AI to continue to see a stimulus source if it remains within the specified distance of the last seen location. This range determines how close to the last seen location a stimulus source has to be to keep being seen. Detection by affiliation filters which types of stimuli source are to be detected. I've decided to detect enemies, friendlies and neutrals. We then set the dominant sense to site by getting the sense implementation from the site configuration. We then set our on target detected to be called when something is sensed. Finally, we configure the sense system with the site config object. Now we need to do the definition of on target detected, the function that is called when the player is seen. So we try and cast the actor to our player character class. This is a way of testing to see if it's the right kind of actor. So if indeed actor is the player, we then get the blackboard component. Now in the tasks, there is a blackboard selector associated with the task node. Well, you can't do that here. So we've got to actually put in manually the name of the blackboard key. So coming in here, we've got this stimulus and we can determine whether or not it was successfully sensed. If the player is seen, then it will be true. If the NPC loses sight of the player, then this will be false. So true or false will be written to the blackboard key, depending upon whether or not the player is seen. Now, this is only half the story. We've got to register the player as a stimulus source. So you've got to open up the header for the CPP AI tutorial character class and something needs adding to the private section. Right, it's a UAI perception stimulus source component. 
pointer of I'm going to call this stimulus I should call it stimulus source I think and I'm going to have a setup stimulus function stimulus source I'm going to call it and I will implement this actually from the constructor call that setup function there's not much code in here So all this code does is to create the stimulus source. And if that was successful, we then register it for sense in sight with a UAI sense site object. Then we register it with the perception system. So you've got to have these headers, I believe. I don't think we had these, did we? The stimulus source component one and the AI sense site one. I can now attempt to build, I think. OK, success. In the next one, we'll be altering the behavior tree to use all this.